Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the summit of the evening. In the next 15 minutes or less, we will crown a new champion, the inaugural women's featherweight champion. In the yellow corner, she represents a long lineage of South African grapplers. Flying the flag for Quan Vessels Academy, please welcome Hannah Griffith. Her opponent, fresh of an amazing performance with gold on her mind, from the blue corner, representing Ability Academy, please welcome Lilani Tibetz. Your referee, Bobby Karajanides. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the featherweight title on the line, Hannah Griffith. Ladies and gentlemen, the featherweight title, Hannah Griffith versus Lalani Devet. Massive moment here for these two ladies. Hannah Griffith trying to get that belt. Lani Devet trying to get that belt. One will be champion. It's massive. Everything to play for here for these two ladies. All right, Steph. The ladies at the top of the bill. Hannah Griffith versus Lilani Devet. Going to be very aggressive on the hand fight early up there, I can promise you now. <laughs> very yeah. excited for this. I've been waiting yeah. for this all evening. Awesome Hannah, yeah, to Hannah have another. Hannah with the multi-snap there, heavy <laughs> on the multi-snap. And, and it's an interesting approach from Hannah. What we do know about Lilani is that she is Ooh. tough and physically so very her. strong. Oh, very nice takedown by Hannah. Looking to work that heavy cross face position right in her corner. Coach Warren King in her ear. Step by step instructions. I think Hannah's going to start to look to find that mount position now. Lilani blocking the knee, trying to regain yep, getting some that, control of that leg. Getting a frame in with that left arm. Just to give you a bit of background on. Hannah Griffith, she's got a large corner, her cousin Aidan Griffith giving instructions, her dad Lloyd Griffith, the black belt, close by, um, a lot of support for her here, fresh back from New Wave Jiu Jitsu, she spent a bit of time overseas, uh, competed all over, competed in Nogi Pans, took a silver medal, looking to add some gold to that, Lilani Devet looking to add some gold take to take back to Heidelberg to represent team ability um, obviously a lot a lot at stake for these two ladies 15 minutes for this one um, being a title fight so a lot of time to work and, and Hannah seems like she's quite well aware of that she's going to take her time and make it very uncomfortable Lamoni still seems to have Hannah's leg yep. and as I say yep. that Hannah's and almost got it out head wrap position in the Oh, she's still like a three-corner mount, going to start to work that smother. Putting a heavy, lot. heavy on that smother is Hannah Griffith. And that's the thing, it's so much pressure. It does yeah. put the bottom person into a panic. Lilani trying to get those hips to make a bit of space for herself. Hannah being relentless on it. She hasn't completely got that gift wrap position all the way through but it's it's getting a lot closer and it's going to uh, okay now Lilani's okay for now she's got a bit of space to breathe doing the right thing here trying to give herself some space now Hannah's sucked it right back in again heavy heavy on the smother yes Steph this is what you wanted to see all night <laughs> I, I, <laughs> and now you're getting the smother from Hannah Griffith and now she's going to switch to the head and arm 
And I mean, when you've got that much pressure at the bottom, I'll like, what what would you do to escape Look, she's, that position? She's, she's got to deal with this step by step. So Hannah's gone back to the he, to the head wrap now. Give yourself enough space to breathe. Try and turn your try and find an angle that's going to be uncomfortable no matter what. Mm. But give yourself a bit of an angle. It's, the pressure will move from instead of on your mouth to your cheekbone. It's uncomfortable, but mm. you can breathe and you can start to. The, the whole thing with this mother is like it's uncomfortable. You're either going to tap because you're going to run out of breath, or it's going to make you very tired. And that's the whole thing. And the more tired you get the easier the submission becomes so sure. so the tactic of this mother is not always 100 percent purely just based on getting the submission it's to make you tired and maybe something else will present you know what i mean so it's it's it's, it's very effective um hannah's hannah was very smart to so switch to the head and arm and then came back to this mother straight away so she had a deeper bite on that head wrap you saw immediately that underarm was thrown right across now she's switching sides it looks like and it seems like this mother has become very popular yeah. of late. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those, it's like you get to put it in your pocket when you go home. I'm like, I got a smother tap today. <laughs> you know, it's one of those you get to take home with you. Okay, and now Lalani's had some frames in there. She made a little bit of space. She's trapped her leg again. But that three-quarter mount, like, so Lalani's forced her leg back in there almost to that, that, that three-quarter mount, but it's still going to feel a lot of pressure from there i mean good on lalani for riding the wave here it's been very heavy yeah. and pretty much top pressure from the go okay, no. so so she doesn't actually have hannah's leg fed in there she's holding on to her yeah. own thigh to prevent it's interesting from like you need those hands for frames to try and get a bit of pressure off of your face mm. looking and now hannah's working heavy on that head wrap position <laughs> Ref Bobby right on the edge again. The thing for Hannah, yeah, like she's happier, she's in her corner. She won't really want to be reset, you know, so she's <laughs> gonna force herself off the mat and okay, it's gonna that head and arm now from Hannah. Deep into her corner goes Hannah Griffith. She just wants to be front yeah, and center. Practically <laughs> right on her corner's chairs almost. Yeah, she's getting heavy on that head and arm now. Oh, I think we're going to have to recenter that. Yeah. So Hannah Griffith <coughs> has a head and arm, a bite on her head and arm. And this is the thing about Lilani Debet. She does not go away easily. Yeah. So Hannah needs to start to turn her chin back in towards Lilani a little bit to control that arm and then start. Okay, now she's going to drop her hips. For that head and arm you see she dropped her left leg down and brought her right leg over the hips to try and to really start to finish that so yeah. just adjusting her grips a little bit she doesn't have to come off there she turns her hips oh, oh. very nicely done by the line exploded at the right right second there and that's it Lani's still working to yeah. try and get out of that position yeah it's just so much pressure hannah not giving her any space still a lot of time to work here you know, Lilani needs to find a way out of this you know she can't she can't sit at the bottom position here for for too long still eight and a half minutes to go you're giving Hannah more and more opportunities to to find a submission now she's trying to scissor her leg so she can come back up onto her knees the thing is coming up onto your knees from here you're going to give up your back immediately Hannah very sharp on the back as well and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where Lilani would prefer to be is, is, is get up and find a find a back take you know yeah um, but yeah, Hannah looking very good at oh, back tackle. Oh, and own. as you said. Right on the neck, immediately on the neck. Triangle and immediately on the neck. Lalani's trying to find the hand part. You can just see Hannah's choking arm, her right arm. is not completely under the chin just yet, but it's going to get a lot closer now. Lalani looking to focus on trying to get rid of the legs. But You'll notice <laughs> Hannah's legs doing some strange angles. Long, long history of dancing she was a very good dancer for a very long time still does a bit from time to time um you can see those outer parts yes. of dancing feet <laughs> you know working for her nicely in that triangle there and Lilani's still finding a way out trying to keep herself in this fight as much as she can good head position here from Hannah Griffith now she's got to start to find a way to finish this oh very Strength nice body. tight body triangle oh 
think that's under the neck now. Can't, just can't see, but I think that's getting very deep now. It's not quite under yeah, the chin. Yeah, Lalani tucking that chin quite, quite nicely. But what is going to happen is that it's eventually going to go right across the face and it's going to become very uncomfortable. But again, so now she's got to deal with everything. Get rid of the submission, get rid of the body triangle, find a way to escape. Now Hannah's going to use that to come up to mount if she can. Go back to the back. Very nicely done. There she goes. Good transition. Yeah. Now she's going to have that head and arm presenting itself. And it's tricky when you're defending back, then suddenly yeah. defending mount and defending yeah. back. Yeah, you're trying to trap that arm now is Hannah Griffith. straight to the back oh Her heavy transition. on that bite on the back now <clears throat> you saw Hannah try and jump on that grip very quickly there she's going gable grip there yeah my preferred uh, my preferred grip on the back oh is it you just yeah. palm to palm and just hoy. You, you can get a lot of talk <laughs> now she transitions to the figure four and that's going to be Oh, <laughs> Lalani making, a, making it very, very difficult right now. And this is always going to be the challenge with someone like Lalani Levet. Like we've said, she does not go away. She's, she's fighting the hands. She's trying to stay as safe as she can. Oh, there we go. Oh. I was just about to say, eventually it's going to come. She's got to find a way out of wow. that back position. Relentless. And that's two women's titles back to quad vessels. <laughs> With the same submission. Yeah. With the same submission. Face for radio. Wow. Face for radio. Anna, how does it feel when I say a new women's featherweight champion? It's amazing. I literally, I worked really hard and just, yeah, thank you so much to my team, um, my, all my coaches, my dad for putting in the extra time with me. And just thank you to Al and Justin and everyone at Submission Kings for just giving me this opportunity. You have a very famous surname. Does that come with additional pressure when you head out down to the mat? Absolutely. I'm waiting on a call from my brother now, telling me how cock I was. <laughs> uh, lastly, I just want to find out what's next for you. I mean, you've got the gold scrap now, you, you're top of the pile. Does the work just get harder now and there's more work to come? Definitely. Definitely gets harder. Never gets easier. Hannah, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion, Hannah Griffith. That brings us to the end of the broadcast. Winner takes all five. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Wherever you watched across the world, it's been another supreme night of top jiu-jitsu action. And we wish you all a safe journey and take care wherever you are in the world.